good morning friends i hope you have solved the problem on your own so uh, in this video we will go through the solution together so as we discussed in, the, in our, our problem statement is that we have to implement a read write lock in which if there are like multiple threads which are trying to uh, read or write an object so in that case if there's only one thread which is currently writing on that object in that case there shouldn't be any thread allowed to read or write that uh, that, uh, that object and once there are no threads which are writing on that object there is no single thread which is writing on the object only in that case we we can implement uh, we can have multiple uh, threads which can read that object at the same time so this is what we are going to implement so i have already got my intellij open and the very basic uh, interface that i created is that this interface would be having only like four uh, methods which is lock read unlock read uh, so this is for locking of course and this is for unlocking and similarly we have got for locking the right and for unlocking the right these are the four methods in this interface and now we are going to implement our uh, j read write lock i have just marked it as java read write lock which is very similar and in this implements this and i have got this very basic uh, uh, like the blank uh, methods that we are going to implement it so let's implement this class together so let's make it very simple so what we are going to have this condition is that if there's any any write request or if there's any like writer which is already uh, like writing to that to the object in that case we will not allow any any read access and and, and the vice versa so let's uh, implement just create some counters counters that how many threads that are waiting for as a readers so i will create this private int readers control d control d and then i will have another counter for what what are the current number of writers and finally we will have write requests just taking a very simple int counters for all the readers that are currently like have requested this lock for reading which is locking this read and for writers and the write requests which have uh, actually called this lock write methods so these two okay so as we have read before uh, in this our problem statement that if there's any writers or any writer requests at the moment in that case uh, we have to wait we cannot grant uh, the read access so let's implement the simple logic here so that uh, also one more thing is that uh, i will mark it as synchronized because it would be accessed by multiple threads that's why i will mark all of them as synchronized so let me copy this synchronized and i will use the same for all lock read unlock read and similarly for write as well synchronized void lock read and this okay now let's implement this that whenever if there is any uh, any request for say writers or even for write requests is greater than 0 in that case this thread which has called this lock read method it has to wait so we have already got this wait method here and then once this is done then we have to just inc increment this readers plus plus if we don't have any writers or write requests anymore in that case we can uh, the thread which is trying to have lock read it would be having this uh, readers plus plus i mean there is one more reader uh, one more thread which has been notified as uh, marked as a readers and that's why we increment this counter as one as plus plus one more whatever one if there are like second thread third thread fourth thread whatever in the, in the same way there would be the readers count would be incremented accordingly now uh here we complement our lock read this is very simple and similarly once we have unlock read it means that we have to just reduce the count uh, the readers count and we have to notify all I prefer to use notify all because it will uh, it will uh, wake up all the threads which are waiting on this lock read. Okay, so this is very simple and naive implementation of uh, uh, lock read and unlock read. That's very similar thing we can do for lock write as well. So for write, as we have discussed in this problem statement, that if no thread is waiting writing to object and no threads have requested write access, in that case, in that case, only multiple threads can read the object at the same time. But whenever is there any write request or if there are any threat, multiple threads which are reading that, in that case, we cannot grant the write uh, lock to that. 
so let's implement this logic so first of all whenever we uh, any thread calls this lock write method it means that the write request has been created so we will simply increment it now the write requests are there because we uh, our thread has uh, called this lock write method which is the very first uh, increment here after this we have to check that whether there's any other thread which is writing already in that case we have to wait because there, they call, there can be only one thread which can write it if there are multiple threads if it's greater than zero it means that there is already a thread which is writing it so in that case we have to wait for it and now we have to also in check whether is there any reader thread at all because if there are multiple threads which are currently uh, reading this uh, object this mutated state object in that case also we cannot grant the right access because we have to wait for uh, all those reader threads which have which uh, after they complete the reading only then we can get this lock right and then we can mutate the object so that's why we have to check both of these conditions most of the people they uh, they actually miss this part uh, because they think that just uh, because uh, we always uh, as the problem statement says that the right set should be having uh, having the main uh, priority but here we have to also check the readers because if the, if there are th uh, reader threads which are currently reading the object in that case we cannot uh, acquire the right and mutate the state because th this there is no guarantee of happens before relationship so in that case we have to check both of these conditions and then uh, if this is not there then we have to wait as the same way as we have implemented for lock read and once this is not the case in that case now we have to because the right request we have to decrement it because now we are we are at a state that we are able to get the lock on the right object so that's why we have to decrease dec uh, decrement uh, this right request and then increment this plus plus okay so let's revise again that whenever we call this lock right method in that case we have to first of all because this is a request already created so we have to increment this but we have to wait uh, if there are any other writer which has already got this lock or if there are any other threads which are already reading this object in that case we have to wait otherwise once this is not the case then in that case we have to we can decrement this set request because now this this is not our request anymore and we have already got the lock for the right and that's why we increment this writer here now this is as as much about the lock right and the unlock right is very much similar to unlock read in which we are going to just uh, decrement this and notify all so guys let's revise what we have done so far so we have got this interface where we are just we are going to implement this lock read unlock read and lock write and unlock write and the basic criteria is that if there we are going to read anything from that object multiple threads can read it unless there is no writer which is mutating the state or if there is any write request also in that case also that write request will get the higher priority and if these two are not the cases then we have to, we have we can uh, increment the thread and get the lock read object as users plus plus similarly for the unlock read because we are waiting at this condition we have to uh, notify you all for all the waiting threads and uh, while unlocking it we decrement the counter for readers and then we notify you all so that we can uh, we don't have to like uh, notify all these waiting threads here the similar logic goes for lock write and unlock write but lock write whenever we have a write request we then uh, we have to increment this and we have to wait until there is any uh, any other thread which is writing or there are multiple threads which are reading in that case we have to wait otherwise we decrement this write request because it's not a request anymore and uh, because we already acquired the lock now and we increment this that unlock write is very straightforward and it's very sim similar to unlock read where we decrement the writers and then notify you all so this was a very basic and naive implementation of the first part uh, as we go uh, here in our uh, problem statement so this part covers this and in the next video we'll go through the test cases and and uh, just uh, test all this uh, lock read unlock read and lock write and unlock write by writing some unit test cases to confirm that it's all thread safe and it's working as expected so see you all in the next video